I'm Randy Garvin for Roadside Online. I love coffee and I love trains. And if I can't get coffee on the train, well, I'm pretty happy if I can get it inside a train station, especially one where they actually serve real train passengers. So we're gonna go inside right now. We're gonna talk to its owner, Lisa Rittler, who's been running this place for the last 10 years. Come on inside. What's Hi, Randy. <laughs> you are? My name is Lisa. Lisa Riddler. I own Elsie's Cafe at the Glenside Train Station. What was here when you uh, when you first came? Well, before you opened, it. right the year or so before we opened, <clears throat> there was the beginning of kind of a newsstand get a coffee. But then I found out that the guy who had the lease wanted out of it, and I begged Seth relentlessly. And I had been thinking about you know opening a cafe for a really long time. Tell us about your typical day. Um, <laughs> I mean, what are the great things well, and what are the not-so-great things? that's the beauty. There really is no typical day. I mean, that's the beauty of the restaurant business. Is this still going according to your original philosophy of oh, what you wanted to do when you first opened? I think it's a hundred times harder than I ever, you know, really anticipated it to be. Um, what are the peculiar aspects of owning, of, uh, of trying to run a restaurant in the same place where there's a train station ticket office? <laughs> Um, well, it's actually really, I mean, for the most part, it's beneficial. I mean, I pretty much can answer any question that a SEPTA conductor could answer, but it creates an opportunity. I mean, you know, there's a staple audience of commuters here that might not necessarily have walked in off the street to a cafe that they saw, but because they're here at the train station, they get to see what we do. They want to take the Glenside train line versus others because they know they can come you know, grab a sandwich or grab a coffee. And I get to see so many yes. great things that are going on in the neighborhood because people will come in here. Can I put a flyer up about this, whatever great event that someone's doing? And it just becomes a place where you can get information here that you maybe can't get other places. More so even than the caffeine that I need. I am someone who loves just a great sandwich. Hand-carved turkey, ham, steak, things like that, not your deli meat. Uh, a sandwich that you would make for yourself after the best Thanksgiving dinner you've ever had. It's kind of how we like to think of our sandwiches. We have a couple of staple chicks in the neighborhood that are great bakers that have been baking us muffins and breads and cakes for a long time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it comes from different people that work here now and have worked here but still bake for us. What people are in the mood to make, I always feel is the best things to carry, whether it's dessert, whether it's sandwiches and salads. If someone's like, well, I can make a great chocolate chip cookie, that's what I want to have them bake for me, and that's what we sell. I, my heart is in Glenside. I love this neighborhood. For the neighborhood to keep going in the direction we want it to go in, you know, as far as we have a lot of local merchants, we want to become more, just continue to become more Norman Rockwell Main Street, you know? Go to Amazon, but just remember to shop local, too.